Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Indian International Mathematical Olympiad Team Selection Test 2001 problem number 8. We want to find all functions f from the set of real positive real numbers into itself such that f of f of x minus x equals 2 times x for all positive numbers x. My hints for this problem for the sake of brevity and making things clearer, put g of x to be f of x minus x and rewrite our equation in terms of this newly introduced function g. And then um, let a n of x be the nth composition of our function f with, it, with itself. Find the recursion for this sequence and solve this recursion using characteristic polynomial. And notice what happens then. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so here is my solution. First, as I suggested, notice, notice that it must be the case that f of x must be greater than x. Well, why is that? Well, since our function is defined only for positive numbers, this argument of f must be positive. So it must be the case. Okay, very well. And now let, let g be a function also going from the set of positive numbers into itself and let g of x be equal f of x minus x. We know that it's well defined because of this fact. Very well, and now let's take a look. Our function, our functional equation, in fact, asterisk becomes asterisk becomes the following. Well, we have f of g of x equals 2 times x but now I want to write my function and my equation entirely using g not f so g f of g of x it's just uh, what exactly it's g of g of x plus g of x let's put minus 2x on the left hand side okay so we have this, this equation. And now replace replace g of or replace x by g composed with g and so on composed with itself n minus two times of x. Then we have we have the following equation, namely g composed with itself n times of x plus g composed with itself n minus 1 times minus 2 times g composed with itself n times equals 0. Very well. And now I will introduce a sequence. Mm -hmm. Sequence. Let a n of x be the nth composition of our function. For all natural numbers n going from zero. Now. I have a recursion for a n. My, my sequence can be described by the following recursion. Well, the zeroth composition is just x, it's identity. Yes, it's the neutral element of composition, it's identity function. My first composition is it's just f of x. And then using, well, I will mark it double asterisk. Double asterisk says that that uh, a n of x 
plus a n minus 1 of x minus 2 times a n of x equals 0 or n greater than or equal to. Very well. Now, this recursion is linear. Is linear because here we have constant numbers 1, 1, and minus 2. These types of recurrences can be very easily solved by characteristic polynomial. Characteristic polynomial. Characteristic polynomial of this recursion can be computed in the following way. I will use Greek letter chi for characteristic. Chi of t equals, well, we take these numbers standing right here, 1, 1, and put powers of t. So we have t squared plus t, and here we have minus 2. Now, it's pretty easy to factorize the characteristic polynomial. It's t minus 1 times t plus 2. And that means that we know the general form of solution of our recursion. That means that a n of x equals some function of x times minus 1 to the power of n plus some other function dependent on x, but independent of n, crucially. Now, how, now uh, before we go, I will add a new page. Perfect. Now, how can I solve uh, my recursion? Well, two equations, how to find, in other words, how to find a of, a of x and b of x? Well, they can be found using the boundary conditions of our recursion, these conditions. Because if I put n to be 0, I have the following. ax plus bx equals just x. It's one equation. The second equation, if I put n to be 1, I have minus 2 ax plus bx equals f of x. And from these two equations, a, a and b can be found in terms of x and f of x. But I want to put a third equation, which will establish some connection between f of x and x itself. What is that equation? Well, think about this recursion. I will maybe a little bit lower. Think about this formula. A n of x equals... I will, you know what, I will put minus 2 to the power of n in front, and I have ax plus bx over minus 2 to the power of n. Notice the following. The second part goes to 0 as n goes to infinity. Yes, that converges to 0 as n goes to infinity. Now, can a of x be non-zero? No, it can't. a of x must be 0, because if a of x were to be not 0, then, then what happens? Look, this part alternates between positive and negative values. This part, last part, goes to 0. So, for sufficiently large n, this part will be either positive or, neg or negative, doesn't matter. And this part alternates between, between pluses and minuses. So if a of x is non zero, then a n of x is for certain less than zero for sufficiently or sufficiently large integer n. And that cannot be. That cannot be because, remember that our sequence is just the nth composition of function whose range is, is a subset of real positive numbers. So it cannot happen. This cannot happen. 
This cannot happen. This cannot happen, which means that a of x must be equal to zero, in fact. And we have our third and last equation. And now I will take this system of equations and I will deduce something interesting. Namely, uh, sorry, there was a typo, not f of x, but here should be g of x because my name of my function is g of x. Sorry for that. Sorry for that. Here and here. Very well. And what can be said? Well, a of x equals zero. So for from the third from the first equation, b of x must be equal to x. And now our third equation becomes our second equation, sorry, becomes well, g of x equals b of x, but b of x is x. Perfect. But what was g of x? Well, g of x was defined to be f of x minus x. In other words, in other words, f of x minus x equals x. And that means that f of x equals 2 times x and that's the only possible solution now is it really a solution does it satisfy our conditions well let's check it verification verification let's take our very first functional equation and let's compare left hand side and right hand side on the left hand side we had f of f of x minus x which is f of x which is 2x and what do we have on the right hand side oh would you look at that 2x very well so it equals the right hand side of our original equation so in fact we have we have only one solution the only solution the only solution is function f of x equals 2x for positive numbers x and that closes our problem thank you for watching and i will see you next time goodbye